So Sunday morning and I'm making making the coffee. Making the coffee. You can use my Tokyo. My old is the old Tokyo Starbucks mug. He's not today. Making some coffee. Making some Tim Hortons coffee. It's almost all gone. The stuff I brought back from Christmas time from Canada. Um, and then there's a big race going on today in the neighborhood, uh, like a 5K, 10K half marathon in Ekiden, which is like a marathon relay. And uh, we're going to go out and watch some of that. I've run in it a few times before, but um, not today. But I am going out for a run, though. But, yeah. There you go. Going to cook some bacon, too. Cooking bacon in Japan. Cooking bacon in Japan. Oh, yeah. Cooking bacon in Japan. On a pan in Japan. Cooking bacon on a Japan pan. Ooh. By the way, do you guys know that I have a podcast now? The Just Japan Podcast. That's right, guys. Links below, okay? It's all about Japan. Episode 1's up already. Episode 2 will be coming later on in the week. My son. Check this out. Isn't this cool? My son's a uh, spoon and fork on bullet trains. Shinkansen. So he's got a Dr. Yellow spoon and a Hayabusa fork. Mmm, cool. It's uh, chopsticks or bullet trains. Shinkansen, that's a super komachi. Which goes between, I think, Tokyo Station and maybe Akita Station. I don't know. Northern Japan. Be cool. Hey guys, time for a little run. Um, so far, update on my running. I've only been running on Saturdays and Sundays this month. Um, I definitely have packed on some weight over the last few months. So I'd ideally like to lose about, I don't know, honestly, six or seven kilograms. Um, so I've been living a pretty sedentary lifestyle and uh, just been lazy about running. I can make a million excuses, but uh, as I say, excuses are like assholes, right? Everyone's got one. So I'm gonna get out, it's a beautiful day. Let's do it. As running in a container port, big wide open streets with no traffic. The joys and beauty of running in a container port. I mean, come on, it's beautiful, huh? <laughs> Not really, but uh, check it out up on the mountaintops. They got snow on the peaks. That's cool. Obviously, no snow here. Tokyo got dumped on with snow yesterday. Obviously, here in Kobe. Nada, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, time to go. Hey guys, okay, so there's a half marathon, 10K, big race going on by my house today. I'm not running in it, but there's the start line, there's the train, and these are all people going to the expo to pick up all the race numbers and stuff. It's got a pretty late start. I think the 10K starts at 12. The half marathon's maybe at like 11 or something. There's a policeman. So yeah, I've got to come out later on with my son and cheer, cheer some runners on. We'll, uh... Yeah, so there you go. Beautiful day for a run. These guys are lucky. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yeah, a lot of people queued up to go and get their uh, race numbers and stuff. So the Kobe 2014 Valentine's Love Run. Pretty cool. Yeah, family, Come on, don't look at me, look look straight. Don't look at me, look straight. That's a bad habit you got. That's why you always fall down. Okay, keep running. We're running to see the race. Oh, the runner's running. We're running to see the runners running. So my son's excited. Here's the park we always play in, and you can see the uh, half marathon course cuts right through the park. So we're gonna go and watch some of these runners. Let's go up this way, buddy. Hey, come here. Go this way. Thank you, sir. All right. Go and check out all these guys. This is about halfway. These guys are at about 10k now. They've been about halfway through the half marathon. Come here.
Come here, Kai. Come this way, buddy. Let's go over here. The water station. They're, they're drinking water. This is a water station. So the runners are thirsty because they've been running so much. So here they can stop and get a drink of water. Very important. These guys, the volunteers, are really awesome to help out the runners like that. <laughs> well, my son wants to give this tree branch to uh, some runners, but I don't think I don't, they probably don't need a tree branch right now, though. over here a bunch of guys running a half marathon yeah well there's big stick and there's some rocks we're, we're looking for bugs I mean it's still cold out but we're gonna overturn some rocks and see if we can find any any critters under the rocks I actually went for a run this morning I'm not signing up for any races over the next while just trying to get out running again a bit get my runners mojo back okay let's turn this over what's under here oh look at that check it out come here look at that Little bugs, huh? I don't know what they are. Oh, there's cool stuff under a rock, so. Mm. What are you doing? Are you slide down the hill? Hill slider. Like one of the fast three elite guys I've been through. So these are. These guys are. Yeah. That's Donald Duck. Pirates. Pirates have to get out of the way of a faster runner. right now the university near my house I think there's still like a racing events going on too might be some people running in front of this place oh, Kobe Godwood University apparently it's 102 years old this year This place has a very nice grass. So there we go. Yeah, so tonight I'm uh, gonna be editing, not editing, interviewing um, Jason of uh, My Argonauts YouTube channel for my Just Japan podcast. And he's gonna be talking about life in rural Japan, which is something I know nothing about because the entire time I've lived in Japan, I've lived in the middle of a big city. Not as big as like Tokyo or anything. I plan on getting someone to, um, some, some people on sometime to do an episode about life in Tokyo as well because that's very different than where I live. Yeah, so, cool. <clears throat> fun, fun, fun. It is fun, actually. I'm having a lot of fun with the podcast. I actually, I make some money from YouTube. I don't make any money from a podcast, but it's still really fun to do. Even more fun, I think, just because it's new for me. Well, 
new-ish. I did have a podcast many years ago, but yeah. The, the people running the racers in there running the fifth one. Huh? Not so many. Don't know what event this is, but it's windy. I think that's all for another Life in Japan video. I'm not gonna go through the entire day just because I got a lot of stuff I gotta do. <laughs> so I don't have much time to edit. I gotta get home and I've got to cook supper and I have to uh, give the kids a bath, put the kids to bed, and then I've got to interview Jason tonight and then try to do a little bit of editing on this and get to bed, go to work tomorrow. So many things to do, but a beautiful day. And thanks for watching guys. Um, I think you guys really appreciate these long form videos i'm glad you do check the links below again there's a new link to my new podcast just japan go over and subscribe to it on the itunes store appreciate that forever okay later guys uh, and girls